you got a major lawsuit popping right now. Mm-hmm. And one of your words is, you're not going to treat me like no slave. What's really good? Because you are suing for like major. a, a Powerball <laughs> number. That you deserve. <laughs> when, I saw, when I saw that number, I was like, <laughs> That you deserve. I though. thought these were but, supposed to help me yeah, read. You like, nah, deserve but that. let me let me let me enlighten you even further though. Like, it ain't even about that I deserve. Because that's not what it is. Mm-hmm. It's a class action suit. I'm merely the tip of that spear. I put the shit in the motion. I filed the paperwork. But the class action is this. Everybody that did a deal before streaming existed needs to join me. Everybody that did a deal before streaming existed is welcome to join me. A class action suit is open to everyone that it affects. Everyone that it affects can sign up. I will get, I've, I've given plenty cats my lawyer's number to jump on with me because it's not about me, it's about us. And we're stronger in this fashion. This should be the new norm. Anything that happens where you need to address something, imagine that it didn't just happen to you. Fill out the paperwork, get a lawyer, fill out the paperwork, and file a class action suit and address it. And everybody that's affected just like you were will join you. Now, what I'm doing is this. When we did our deal and streaming didn't exist, we went from vinyl to cassette to CD. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So when I did my deal, those were the three forms. Streaming didn't exist. So how is a mother going to tell me they're going to give me a dollar for a thousand streams? I never negotiated that. We, nobody, nobody that put out a record before streaming existed negotiated that. No one. So how, once again, are you going to tell me what you're going to give me for my intellectual for property? Stuff. Yeah, got gotcha. you. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and you're going to give me a dollar for a thousand streams? That's mighty white of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, I'm like, yo, nah, that's not what we're gonna do. The core cash. Right, you know what I'm saying? That's not what we're gonna do. So I had to look back and find out, oh shit, in my contract, there's language that speaks to unforeseen. If there's an unforeseen way that we're selling money, I mean selling music other than vinyl, CD, and cassette, whatever that is. In my contract, we split that 50-50. Mm. Which means since 2008, when y'all started streaming, y'all niggas owe me 50% of every fucking stream I've Come ever on. had. Not mm. only me, but every artist that did a deal before streaming. Do you have? Do you own your publishing? I own half of it. I'm about to own all of it. And that's how the shit came about, because I was doing a deal with my lawyer. My lawyer put me on to... A clause from 1976. That you only get to, they only get to keep it for us. For 35, 35 years. years. Right, you're now, about to get it back. But, but, but mind you, Search, Search about told it. Told yeah, us yeah. About but mind it. you, but, but, but peep the nuance. The nuance is this. You have to have the paperwork filled out and filed two years prior. Hmm. If you don't have it done two years prior. So the 33rd year. Right. right. The 33rd year, you have to have it done. If it's not done two years prior to 34th year, it's too late. Wow. And it effectively just rolls over. Oh, that's crazy. that's crazy. That's crazy. Right, 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 right. So when you find out about something, you think, oh, at 35 years, I could do it. You go to address it at 35 years, nigga, you missed the boat already. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Two years prior, it's got to be in. 33 years, right? 33, 33 years, it's got to be in. That's crazy. And if it isn't, then it just effectively rolls over. Oh, that's so crazy. that's why we see cats. That's the next. So if it rolls over, the next time you get crazy. an opportunity at it is 70. Mm, you're not here. Crazy. Yeah, you're gone. Mm. So, crazy. so now it's just rolling over in perpetuity. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's how this whole shit started. The lawyer I have, big shout out to Brian Levinson. He used to work, when I did my deal, he was legal affairs at Universal. Mm. So he now has a private practice. So he knows the ins and outs of their working. Mm. Now that he's a private, you know, now we, now we can have conversations. Right. He's put me on to, oh shit, you know, like, well, let's fill out your shit. You know, you, this goes here, this goes, oh, well, let's do all of that. So now we're having conversations and, you know, I'm talking about, you know, the streaming and how we're getting beat and this and the other. And he's like, you know, like, well, shit, maybe we should do, look at, you know, this, that, and the third. And then we start digging deeper and we find out, you know, like Spotify did this deal with Universal and this, that, and the third. You know, I'm not at liberty to go into specifics. Okay. But 
I am at liberty to say that this shit is not about black sheep. We are just the face of it. We're the, we're the ones that f- filled out the paperwork. We're the ones that filed the lawsuit. How many other artists from your, your right era? now? Right now, there's roughly oh, yeah. 25 artists on, and I'm trying to fill it out. This is my word. Like, like it's not about me. It's about us correcting how they deal with us. Again, unity. Right, you, right. You, that's you that's that's, unity that's where we're strong. Thing. I, not fingers, a fist. Right, a fist. It's not fingers. That, and that's what New York is. Like, we're talking about New York. The boroughs. Nah, it's not about the boroughs. It's about New York. Right. You know what I'm saying? Together, we strong. And that's what I want to stress the cats on this, on, this law, on, on this lawsuit. It's not about me. I'm not about to get a number. We're about to get a number. Mm. All you got to do is get down. And when we have an issue, this is how we address it. We don't get... We don't need to start talking about what, how they do us. We don't need to start talking about what they owe us. We need to go fill out paperwork and get behind each other and, and, and then talk about it so that the community knows to support us. Like, like, like you know, like, and, and one thing that I'm very grateful for, this is my word, I'm very grateful for every fucking person that's heard about this suit and is like, you know what? You deserve that. That means the world to me, but we deserve that. You're educating though at the same time. Oh yeah, no doubt because because I'm being educated. Like like and and that's another thing we got to do as sharing the wisdom. As you get it, you give it away. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, like this is my word. Like you know, and not this shit like on a Jay Z or anything like that, but like like the pops and all of them. But these niggas knew shit that, but they'd rather oh they giving you a dollar for a thousand streams. I'll give you a dollar fifty for a thousand streams. Like nigga, that's not helping. You know what I'm saying? Like this is what's helping. Like, like, like we don't have to play that game so that individuals can eat. Then they like just get their. Uh, they just got their whole shit popping. All their masses back and everything. Like they about so to they be can, streaming so for the first stream. time, right? Which is crazy. Can you imagine the money that had they sat down with you? Had Mace not disagreed with you creating a native tongue corporation? Yo, Maybe bro. they wouldn't be going through this right now. Possibly, you know what I'm saying? Like, like to me, the vision was like, yo, we come together the same way we used to, when we was in Calliope hanging out. We should come together once a year and do that for a month. Can you can you come together with Mr. Long? Yeah. What 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 broke it apart? You said you stepped back, but you didn't <laughs> yeah. say what happened. First. Um. Well, you know, like if you notice, I don't, I don't, um, I don't badmouth Mr. Long ever. You know never, what I'm saying? Never heard a word. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why no one knows what the story is. Right. And yeah, like I'd rather I'd rather be silent than say something derogatory. But at the end of the day, um, sometimes as men, you grow in different directions. And one thing I could say is this, like, you know, like Long's a good person, but but we grew up differently. He was in New York some summers, but he primarily grew up in North Carolina. And, you know, I love him. I love his, you know, I I love him. He's a little brother to me. But as men, as men, sometimes you have to separate yourself from what you're standing next to if it doesn't represent the man you are. Mm. And once we got to the space where who he was as an individual didn't, it wasn't reflective of the man I am. I had to step away from that. And that's not to shit on him, um, but that's just to say that um, as men, we grew in different directions. And some of the things, and, mo- and money is one of the catalysts of motherfuckers doing different things. You know, like money really just accentuates who you are. Who you are. You know what I'm saying? And it I think. Change you. Right, right, right. And I think once money came into our lives, certain things hit the table that I just didn't feel comfortable standing next to. Hmm. And and I, I'll leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but him, hmm. he's he's a little brother to me. Mm-hmm. And when the day comes that that the family's ready to do something, I'm gonna reach out to my little brother. It's sad because as men Sometimes I look at him like, yo, my dude, like it's not Wu Tang. And I've been who I am for a long time. You could sit down with me any day and we could discuss our shit and move forward. 
but you gotta be man enough to sit at the table and have an honest conversation. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and that goes two ways. You know what I'm saying? But I'm at the table, nigga. Like, all you gotta do is pull up, we have an honest conversation and we move forward. But if you're not man enough to come sit at the table, I'm not coming to find you. Mm-hmm. That's not why. You leave it where it is. I leave it right where it's at. Because that's God telling me, keep doing what you're doing. Mm-hmm. When he gets where he needs to be, you'll see him at the table. I'm not trying to shit him on or anything. Love him. But I ain't seen him at the table. And it's his job to get to it. It's hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Smack. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Uh-huh. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to serve.